What is good on guys, this is Johnny, your first coming here on YouTube, and finally I'm back with another video, with the first video in the Android Studio App Development Advanced Tutorials. Uh, guys, I'm so sorry for not uploading anything for three months, I was really inactive on my channel and I'm really sorry for that. Um, it was just that I had so much to do and I had a lot of things to care and worry about in my life, so I'm sorry for that, but I think I'm... I'm active now, so hopefully I will manage to upload uh, videos weekly or even more often. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I think I'm going to start YouTube again. So guys, sorry for having you wait that long, but I just wasn't able to upload any videos. I'm really sorry. Alright, so as always, I already opened our app. So this is still the contact manager app. Yes, still, after two or three months, I still have this app. And it was weird looking at it because I haven't opened or actually turned on my computer at all. So, I, yeah, <laughs> haven't seen this map, uh, this map, I said, well, this app for uh, three months as well as you. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to show you kind of something really simple. That's why I was really kind of against covering it in the advanced tutorials, but I have to do it somewhere, and since I don't really have the other series anymore, I just have to put it in here. And I should have covered this previously, but I just forgot about it. I'm really sorry, but hey, come on, let's do it right now, okay? I'm going to show you how to publish this app. This app is stable, it works, so this could be something we can already publish. I mean, of course, it's not really a great app, no one would actually download it, but uh, still, just for the fun funsies, just for the lols, we can just do it, alright? So, what you have to do in order to publish an app, uh, you're going to need to go to this build right here, and we're going to need to generate a signed APK file. And yes, this is actually important that it's signed, if you generate just a build right here and you try to upload it on the Play Store, it's not gonna work. And by the way guys, before we get to the whole uh, key store thing and all that, I just have to mention that this is not for free. If you you need a developer license on the Play Store and this is about 30 bucks I think, I'm not entirely sure how much it is, but it's something about 30 bucks, which is way cheaper than Apple, which, um, so, which is like about I don't know, a hundred bucks or something. It's really quite expensive in comparison. But hey, okay, let's let's just get the money and get the license and you're gonna be set. So we're gonna continue with this app, we're gonna make new apps and you will be set, right? You can just upload them. I don't really take any credits because you technically did this on your own. I, I can just hope that you're gonna kind of do change up a little bit of the coding and get some unique features in there which I'm pretty much gonna cover those unique features and you can just combine them and make a great app out of it um, but yeah uh, this is just something uh, we should do and you're gonna do so yeah let's let's just get to it alright so we're gonna need to go to build as I already said and generate signed APK now you're gonna have this wizard and to the past it was really hard to create this key store right here but they kind of created a wizard for that as well so usually you had to go um and just get the common prompt and you had to enter everything a single thing in there and you had to remove all these commands all these kind of shortcuts and oh my god it was terrible but now finally it's pretty pretty simple to do it so let's go ahead and create a new key store right here so just click on create new and then we're gonna need a key store path I'm just gonna use this one right here which is gonna be in a photo on my desktop and then in this photo there's another folder and then I'm just gonna create this key store right here so I'm just gonna call this contact manager key store <laughs> and then you're gonna need to pick a password um, I'm just gonna pick a generic one but you should really pick one which isn't easy to crack because people can get into your app if they crack this key store because the key store is kind of something which you use to apply a little bit of encryption to your app so that no one can actually get into it and all that so this is kind of a little bit of protection in here so then we're gonna use an alias which is just gonna be contact manager and then we're gonna need another password as well or again again just a generic one but yeah oh by the way this password needs to be different from this one here that's one thing I should mention and we're gonna put the validity on 30 
30 years. And by the way, you should really put it on 30 years or something. If you put it just on 5 years because you think, okay, hey, well, I'm no one's going to upload my app any or use my app anymore. It's just a common thing to do that uh, here. 30. 30 years. Just put 30 years. Even if you won't even be alive at that point anymore, it doesn't really matter. But just put it at 30 years. It's just kind of a common thing to do. <clears throat> so, yeah. Now you have to use the first and last name of yourself, of course. <laughs> if you copy this, then it would kind of be bad. This organizational unit, I have really not that many ideas on what this is, but, huh, well, let's just pick IC, because I think that's it, so it's a little shortcut for IntraCode. Um, and the organization is IntraCode Inc. And the city or locality is Bristol. And the state or province, uh, well, that's interesting. I'm just... Oh, that's well. That's interesting. Doesn't have a province. Uh, I was gonna think it's England. Let's just think that. I'm sorry. If I'm being completely stupid here. Then it's my bad. And then it's the country code. And then just hit OK. And you're gonna have your uh, key store right here. And then you're gonna hit next. And you can remember this password. I would recommend that. I'm just gonna pick it right here. Next. Specify master password for the password database. Oh, okay. So I don't really want to remember the password right now. Okay, and now it's finally gonna go into this right here. So this is the destination, and you're just gonna hit finish. All right. So once you created your key store file, it should work for you. Um, then you're just gonna need to go into your browser, and you're gonna need to go to developer.android.com. Once you're there, you're gonna see pretty much this kind of window right here and you're gonna need to go to distribute alright so again you're gonna need to go to go to developer console and if you don't have a license then this won't work for you okay so you're gonna need to buy a license and then you are set pretty much so then once you are on the developer console you're gonna see kind of this window right here so um, yeah this is kind of what you're gonna have so of course this app is, won't be there for you then it's, you're gonna just have to um, kind of enter in all the information about the app and just upload the APK file and you're ready to go then your app is going to be published and you're gonna see who downloads it etc you can set a price and all this but for pricing and all that we're gonna cover this in a different tutorial but this is just pretty much what you have to do. It's fairly simple, guys. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That's already about it. My name is Johnny of Fresh Content YouTube. And I see you on the next tutorial.